welcome to the University of Central Oklahoma and NCUR 2018. NCUR stands for the National Conference on Undergraduate Research. It's an opportunity once a year for students from around the world to come together and share the research they've been working on. I heard so many, hey, what are you presenting? And hey, what is your research? And to hear that conversation happening on our campus made me so proud um, because I knew those people were making connections and feeling encouraged in what they were doing. If you had a chance during this conference to just walk into you know, the Wellness Center, for example, where we had posters set up, hundreds of posters at a time, and to see these students excitedly talking with one another about what they've been doing, say, in Massachusetts, what somebody else has been doing in Southern California, and, and to see that interaction and the excitement in their eyes, it makes a guy like me go back about 20, 30 years or so to remember what, what it was like um, to have that kind of feeling. And uh, so we're, we're really happy to be a part of that and, and to facilitate that. I think one of the most powerful moments, and there were many, but one of them certainly was at the very outset of the entire, you know, NCUR uh, conference. And that's when we had all 39 federally recognized tribes in Oklahoma recognized at the event when um, students representing each of those tribes carried flags up to the dais, put them in place. And that moment from uh, the perspective of many people I talked to was one of the most powerful moments because it was kind of a joining together. It was also a reflection of Oklahoma and its history, uh, some of the things we're proud of and that we think about a lot and we're thoughtful about. We had fantastic speakers. I thought it was very, very powerful and meaningful. Claudia San Pedro, for example, who spoke really kind of as the face of Oklahoma City in 2018. You know, somebody who is doing so well in the business community, understands and appreciates the role of undergraduates and undergraduate research. And then to have that followed by somebody like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, right, who knows about mentorship and can speak personally about that. It's something that really means a lot to me and we've been successful. Because his whole life has been defined by mentoring people and being mentored by other people, coached. Uh, Ramu Damodaran, a representative of the UN, um, who had these wonderful you know, statements to the crowd. He received a standing ovation because of this energy that he sort of put out into the crowd about thinking bigger, thinking international. He has one of the most nimble and creative minds that I've ever seen on a stage before, and he just wowed the group you know, with this excitement. T.W. Shannon, you know, who anchored um, the speakers as well, told us a lot about mentorship and how it was that he has made his way through his career as well. So we caught this theme, I think, in a very dynamic way of, of mentorship, working your way through a system, learning from others, celebrating research and working together. It turns out that this was the second largest NCUR in the 32-year history of the entire event. So that gives you a sense of indeed how popular it was. And I think um, it does have to do with historical timing, how important undergraduate research is, not only on the UCO campus, but in the state of Oklahoma and across the country and internationally. In the end, we had 4,211 registered participants coming to our campus from the conference, representing all 50 states, Puerto Rico, Washington, D.C., and 18 other countries. Going into the planning process, um, I think we had two goals in mind. One was to showcase all the wonderful things that are happening at the University of Central Oklahoma, what makes this a special place, and to showcase the Oklahoma City metro area and our state. The other goal that we had was to provide a, a fun experience for these students coming from around the country and from 18 other countries who would be coming to our campus to experience NCUR 2018. It took massive amounts of people. Somewhere between 1,000 and 1,200 volunteers. And I think that's what makes this place such a great place to work is because of the involvement of all of the volunteers and all that they did from the planning process to implementation to see it through to make the, the conference a success. It's a very prestigious opportunity. 32 years, only one institution per year hosts. Never been held before in the middle part of the United States and, and never in Oklahoma. Our application was unique. And I was told this by the executive director. We had uh, over 80 letters of support. They went across the state from the governor, members of Congress, members of the legislature, 
All the institutions in the state that we connect with through Oklahoma Research Day, our application seemed to embrace the state with its unique culture. We talked about Native American issues and also our unique role as a metropolitan university. When we talk about transformative learning for students, there was a transformative opportunity for the university. There are probably those who would have thought when we put our name into the hat, so to speak, in 2014, that uh, we were probably reaching a little too high. I'm glad we did, because I believe what we held here in 2018 was an outstanding experience for those who participated. I think what I mostly got out of it was just a renewed sense of excitement for the work that I'm doing. I got to talk to a lot of really amazing students from other schools about the work that they're doing and it just made me feel really encouraged to keep pushing my ideas farther and further. We have a deep care and a deep commitment to undergraduate research. This shows the nation and the world that this is a school that puts their undergraduate students first.